What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sinister Cast and in today's episode I decided that we're going to talk about uh, this whole lawsuit thing going on with Ed Sheeran. Um, for those who don't know, basically Ed Sheeran's getting sued for a hundred million dollars. A hundred million. Because his song Thinking Out Loud has like the same bass line, tempo, and drum composition as the song Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. So it's... A hundred million dollars, that's a lot of money. And when I first heard about this, I heard it probably a week or two ago. And it was, uh, I heard it on the radio. And I was sitting in the car with my girlfriend. We were eating food and we heard it on the radio. And I just sat there and thought to myself, wow, I've actually never realized that, but it does sound pretty similar. Like they're, the bass lines and, 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 you know, the backing for both of the songs are very, 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 very similar. And the chord progressions are pretty much the same. Um, the only difference is in the second chord in the chord progression. Um, it's a difference between uh, a one six chord and uh, which is like a one chord with a third added in there, but uh, another third degree. But the other one is just a minor third chord. And basically those can be kind of interchanged. So they're pretty much the same. They have a little bit of little different texture to them. But they, for the most part, they almost function as the same thing in a way. But they're close enough. To someone who doesn't, who isn't musically like trained, who doesn't understand music theory and stuff like that, uh, they're not going to exactly notice. Because um, if you're not paying attention, it, do, it does sound, those two chords sound very, very similar because they are very, very similar. But, uh, but yeah, but I, I don't know how I feel about this because, the, like I said, the chord progressions are 99% the same. And, uh, you know, the, the, the bass, the drums, they're all very similar. The tempo is the same. I just, the melodies and stuff are different though. That's what I'm, th that's what I'm going to get at. The melodies of both of the songs are far, far, far different. Very, very different. Um, if you go and listen to them, you can tell that they're very different. So I don't know how much basis they have for this lawsuit like I don't understand if they're trying to claim like a chord progression which I don't think that's something they can do you can't copyright a chord progression it just I don't it doesn't I don't think it works like that you might be able to but it's such a simple like chord progression it's like throwing a huge net out there and you might as well like uh you might as well claim a bunch of other songs you know like Earth Angel I know that's got a very similar uh, chord progression to it too so you're gonna get uh that all involved it just it seems like a ploy to get some money to me. I don't know if there's some kind of beef going on with Ed Sheeran and, and Ed Townsend, I think his name is, who helped co-write uh, Let's Get It On. I don't know if that's like a, like like what's going on or what, but it kind of reminds me of when uh, Vanilla Ice stole the bass line from Queen's, um, Queen and David Bowie's uh, Under Pressure. So... In, in in their whole lawsuit went through and Vanilla Ice claimed that uh, he added a pickup note in the bass line to change it and that made it different. So, I don't know. This, this might be another one of those lawsuits, like a big musical lawsuit over copyright infringement, but I don't understand how they're going to prove this case. I get that the chord progressions are very similar, but that's like a million songs. That is a million songs. There's so many songs that have the exact same chord progression, the exact same key, the same tempo. It's it's insane, but you don't see everyone, you know, suing everybody else. Like I saw a video where someone cut and spliced um, different sections of different think country songs and put them all together and played them played it through and it sounded like one song because the chord progressions are the same the song structures are very similar but you don't hear about everyone in the country side of music getting sued all the time because they have the same chord progressions i mean come on it's, it's ridiculous i mean i think that if you have a, a chord progression that's similar or like an exact copy from another song 
as long as you change up the melody, you you make your own melody, you do your own thing with it, then it's yours and it's fine and they can't sue you for it. Because it just, it's kind of messing with my mind that they're trying to, you know, sue for this. And, like, I don't know Ed Sheeran that much. I don't know him personally, obviously. I don't know him. I don't know a lot about him. I know a couple of his songs, but that's basically through my girlfriend. And I do appreciate some of his music. But, like, I feel bad for him. Because this is going to bring a bunch of, like, bad publicity for him, I think. It's... I, I don't see where it could be good. I mean, he could go through this whole lawsuit, come out on top and win, and not have to pay the $100 million. But then people are going to kind of look down on his song now and be like, Oh, you just copied, uh, you know, Marvin Gaye, and you, you're just a copycat, and you're you're not original. I, I don't see where it could be good unless people like myself are the ones kind of defending it because you got to think about it in, in, in music theory terms. Um, but that's, I don't know. It's the court case is going to be interesting because I guarantee they're going to have, the jury is going to be made up of a lot of people who don't have musical backgrounds and don't have a bunch of music theory knowledge to understand this type of stuff. And I feel like the people who are suing Ed Sheeran are just going to throw a bunch of legal jargon and stuff at them. And to me, I'm not going to say the jury's stupid. They're not. They're just ignorant. And I feel like when you're in a situation where you have to judge between two different arguments and you don't know very much about the topic at hand, the person who sounds like they know the most and the one that has the most vocabulary, I think, is the one you're going to end up going with. I think it's just nature because if they throw all this jargon at you, all these terms, and they seem like they know what they're talking about, then of course you're going to go with them because you feel like they know what they're talking about. And I feel like that's what might happen with this, um, unfortunately. So, you know, Ed Sheeran, I'm sorry. <laughs> you might have to pay up that $100 million, even though I don't think you should have to. Um, but yeah, it's an, it's an interesting thing. I guess we'll have to see how it plays out uh, down the road. Uh, it'll be, like I said, it'll be really interesting. I don't know if there's been any other bigger lawsuits that I can think of. Kind of like the Ice Ice Baby and the Under Pressure one with Vanilla Ice and Queen. I None that I can think of. I'm sure there's been some. I just, I can't think of them or I don't know of them. But yeah, this is, this might be a... a a mark in history for musical copyright and uh, stuff like that. Because if they somehow win on some weird basis of like chord progression copyright or, you know, just something really weird, something bizarre where it's like a fundamental thing that you just can't copyright. It's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's almost like trying to copyright the idea of having a guitar and, and a bass and drums and vocals for a band. Imagine if someone tried to copyright that idea so then no one else could ever have a drummer, guitar player, bass, and vocalist because they'd get you know sued for copyright. You know, it's, it's it sounds stupid, but that's to me, that's kind of what it's like with what they're trying to do. It's like a fundamental thing that you can't, you just can't straight up sue for. And I, I, I I understand if they really feel this bad about it. Uh, but I kind of feel like it's, like I said earlier, a ploy to get some money for whatever reason. Maybe they've got some beef in the background that people don't know about. But, I mean, let's get it on as old. And thinking out loud is a hand, what, four, I don't even know how old, but at least a couple years old. So why now? Why is it coming out now? Why is this a thing now? Why didn't it happen when the song first came out? Like, I don't understand if they were, if they felt that strongly about it and they wanted to sue for it, why didn't they do it when it first, when the song was first released? It just, it doesn't make sense to me because it's been out for so long and they're trying to sue for it now. I highly doubt it was a situation where like they never heard the song before because that song, Thinking Out Loud got really popular. That was a huge hit. I doubt that's what the case is. I feel like it's a ploy where maybe uh, they're running low on money or they're trying to look for a quick fix to get money 
and someone brought up the idea like, oh, hey, th- this song sounds pretty similar to Let's Get It On. Let's sue for it. And the guys were like, oh, yeah, 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 let's do that. I feel like it, it was something like that because it's just, it's so far down the road. It just doesn't, it does, I, I don't know. It seems suspicious. It seems a little fishy to me that they're doing it now. I'd understand it more if they did it when the song first came out. But now that it's years down the road, I think it's just kind of BS that they're trying to do it. But who knows? Uh, yeah, who knows? But uh, yeah, I, I talked a little bit about this topic. Uh, I think I'll probably cut it off here. Um, if you didn't already check it out, go look at my uh, guitar lesson that I uploaded yesterday on how to play the Jaws theme song. It's not the same as the one that I did a cover of. It's a simplified version for beginner players. Uh, so if you're trying to learn and you want to learn a simple song that you can show off to people, go check out the video. I show you a really simple way to play Jaws well, using only a couple notes. It's really easy to understand and it'll be something cool to add to your little repertoire of songs to play. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Hit that like button for me. And uh, hit that subscribe button as well if you already haven't, uh, along with that notification bell to get notified when I put videos up just like this. So until next time, you guys, I will see you in the next video. $100 million. <laughs>